Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. I am Old Man 102. Welcome back to the channel. Now, welcome back to FS19 on the Richie's Prairie map. I did a little bit more work between episodes. Oh. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Why do I sneeze as soon as I hit the go live or the record button? So our, our harvester is sitting over here empty. Our um, cedar is sitting over here. So I'm going to leave the... Uh, I'm not going to take a contract yet. I had done a little bit of work between episodes. So let's jump in. Oh, let's jump in the Roadrunner. Or, there we go, perfect. So I, I spared you the torture of planting trees. I planted, I think, two and a half more boxes. I think we have like a half a box left or one box left or something like that. You all have to excuse me. My sinuses are absolutely killing me. Uh, let's see if we can get these loaded. What even took the one I was parked on? Is it L? It is. Oh, it missed a couple stumps. All right. So we've got to go back and get a couple stumps. I thought I had them all. But I thought we'd... Uh, yeah, I, I, I wanted to spare you all the uh, torture of uh, planting the trees. I'm gonna run the first. Uh, now I want to drive. I don't want to drive through the new saplings, so I'll have to come out and around. Yeah, we'll run the first load. Maybe even the first two loads over to the new uh, the boathouse. Yeah, there's one more pallet of saplings, and then we'll have to buy some more. We're definitely planting like two to three trees for every one we're cutting down, though. I just don't know how long they take to grow. I don't think I've ever planted trees in the game and let them grow to, to maturity. Ooh, I almost drove through that trigger. We almost gave this load to the uh, wood chipper. Yeah, we're definitely going to run another load or maybe two over here. Hope everyone is doing well. It is Thursday evening as I record this. I got home from work Thursday. I work four ten ten hour days, so Thursday's my Friday. So got home, ate dinner, laid down for a bit. Can't fall asleep, so I thought I'd come up. I just set a toss, lay in there tossing and turning. And I just said, just the heck with it. And I'll jump in here and get a couple episodes recorded. I've got nothing planned for Friday other than the grocery store. And uh, pretty much Friday is groceries and uh, getting caught up on uh, YouTube videos. I was not expecting to get that many. I think the furniture factory was about full. And I know we'll have to check on the uh, furniture and the wood chipper again. I, I honestly can't remember. Uh, let's come in over here. Oh, I left a lot of stumps. Must have been bl half blind. Well, 
speaking of half blind, seven issues with my eyesight last week, so I ended up going to my. I had was I was going to see. I had an appointment at my family doctor anyway. So I talked to her about the issue, and then she sent me right to my eye doctor. So I have so my right eye all of a sudden is blurry, and the left eye isn't as clear. But the right eye is definitely blurry. So the eye doctor, uh, who I've been seeing, so I'm not new to her, I'm not a new patient to her, so she's been tracking cataracts for a while. So unfortunately, I had to make a uh, an appointment um, to see a eye surgeon. So I do have to have cataract surgery on both eyes. I don't know how the dates yet. But they do one eye on Thursday, and then you recover pretty much Friday in the weekend. And then they do the second eye the following Thursday, and then the same thing, recover over the weekend. So I'm going to have that coming up. I, don't, I, I meet with the, uh, s the cataract surgeon, I guess eye surgeon, I don't know what their official title is, on... I think it's the 6th of October for the uh, consult and testing, I'm sure. And then I'll schedule the surgery after that. So there may be a week or two with little to no videos. Depends on how well my vision is. So usually I record all of my, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 hours. And I record all of my videos on Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the week. And I don't have any extra time to take off of work, so it's not like I could take the week off between surgeries. It's just, that's just not going to happen. Cut more trees than I was than I thought. Of. Squeeze, squeeze. Now nah, it's a full load. All right. Take this one, not this the entire load's also going back over to the boathouse. No, depending on how full these, full these factories are, I may or may not have to um, cut any more between episodes again. Hopefully this will keep them running for a while. Yeah, because the wood chipper here doesn't have many. So the next load will probably throw in there. That's about 55 or 60 percent full. But when they do the cataract surgery, they'll put permanent corrective lenses in. So I won't have to wear any glasses. I may just need readers. But I'm really surprised she didn't take my, uh, pull my driver's license yet for night vision. Because I am extremely night blind. And that the cataract surgery should correct some of that. Okay, 
so that's not going to cooperate. So let's try this pile. Half a load. Let's see if we can get this one up. There we go. But yeah, I'll put a YouTube small YouTube video out, like a, a quick like blog update or vlog update, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Once I know the dates of my surgery. And I'll find out if, if I have the surgery on a Thursday, if there's any shot of me being on the computer on Friday, or if he's going to say no computer. really hoping he says no computer or it doesn't say no computer oh, and then I have uh, year end physical inventory the uh, October 11th 12th 13th and 14th which I'm not going to be able to take any time off of work anyway. So I'm not going to schedule the surgery until... The, okay, that's full. So we don't need to run any back here. That's about 80%. So we'll drop the next load off at, Mam at Mammoth Mill. And we'll probably run one more load over here to the wood chipper. drop the rest of them in the boathouse. And then hopefully we won't have to do any logging for at least an episode or two. Hmm. Alright, this is going to be ugly. I'm probably going to have to move three different times to get these put picked up. these two up. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about these stumps. I'll get these between episodes. Oh, I was, I was able to get them. That makes it a bit easier. It's stuck on this stump. Uh, we can get another half a load on here, I think. squeeze them on there. Ah, uh, let's see if we can squeeze them on here. It may not take them. It may be because it's full. Oh. Alright, now we have to try and squeeze this last one on. Let's hurry up and strap it before it wants to fall off. Take my time so we don't tip this load over. We 
need to get the um, ice house running soon. So maybe we'll look at the, into that this episode. Uh, let's just drop this here and then we'll have income, per, make, make sure we have enough income per hour. Yeah, oh, come on. Really? There we go. Alright, what do you have? You have... Well, you definitely have some wood chips. So how is our heating plant? Let's check that real quick. plenty of water. Let's go grab a quick load of wood chips. The mill looks like it has plenty of ore and plenty of coal. This thing has really good brakes. Pretty much just stops. Okay. So this did not have many wood chips, but hopefully enough to keep this going. I think we emptied this last time, I can't remember. And let's just, since we're driving right by it. Oh, you not have? You, you got some, you don't have much. It'll have to do... I mean, it's not much. It gives us a little bit of income per hour. And then before we get out of this section of the woods... Ooh, let's just check this real quick. Let's see if we're missing anything like everything is active. It is. So it looks like we're in pretty good shape. Uh, could use a bit of copper and nickel, but plenty of logs, plenty of ore, plenty of coal. All right, let's let this puppy go. All right, let's, do I have anything back here I need to drive back to the house with? Uh, this tractor, ooh, I don't know if this tractor stays back here or if I'm going to need, if I need, if we need this tractor, we'll come back and grab it. I have another truck at the house. Okay, I don't think there's anything back here I need. Alright, let's jump over here. I'd probably sell the pickup truck off. We really don't use it. Uh, now, let's see what this guy has. Uh, still making silage. Well, let's grab a little. Let's see what we can get. Oh, you know what? Before you jump in there. How's this guy doing? Uh, it has no diesel. We'll have to bring some diesel over. Definitely want, don't want that to stop running. It's a bit of a hauling episode again today. Now, 
does, let's check the um, Control G menu really quick. Let's take a peek at the refinery and see what it has. Uh, plenty of coal. 291,000 liters. Oh, plenty of silage. We don't need to run any silage down there. Our coal, it does have diesel that we can bring down. Oh, so while this guy's loading, let's go grab some diesel. Actually, we can grab this guy. Let's drop off what we have, and it, so it'll kick it on, we can go get some more. This will end up being our diesel tanker. Just enough to kick that back on. And then we'll see about the ice house while we're back here. We may get that running. So I want to do fishing soon. And we're last time we got the earthworms running, we're definitely going to need to get the ice house running. I don't can't remember how much this holds. Apparently everything we have made That's alright, let it run. Let's check on the ice house. I'm, I don't know if I can't remember if it needs diesel or coal. And we do not own it. Alright, so ice house. This one, it is 94,000. It needs water and diesel, that's what I thought. And we can start getting some ice. Uh, uh, back side is where we pick up the ice. Front side must be where we drop off. I did get it right, look at that. Alright, perfect. And then we have, we can top off the composter and then we just need to run this guy a load of water. That's going to end up being the hauling episode. I didn't plan it to be the hauling episode. It's turning out to be the hauling episode. Now the other thing we need to start thinking about is herbicide production. So we still need a clover field so we have steady grass coming in and we need a potato field.
it is so nice not to have to purchase diesel. And then we can fill any of our tractors up from the sky. Alright, let's grab our silage. Oh, look at that. This is going to be a nice haul. And yeah, I did not work on the new 16x map at all last weekend. I'm really hoping to get some work done on the 16x map this weekend. It's supposed to rain all weekend. We got some kind of tropical something moving in. And it's supposed to start raining, I think, Friday night into Saturday morning. And, that's and it's not going to stop until Sunday night. So yeah, so t tomorrow, Friday, I need to get groceries done. I got to have to hit the grocery store, get that taken care of. And I've got to run the lawnmower over. Over the yard. It's more mainly just to mulch the leaves than it is to cut the grass. Because the yard's already covered in leaves. All right. 1.2 mil, okay, that was definitely worth it. And we're still making some more. Sorry, I had a whack an ant that was crawling. I, you know, woke up. Like, like I said, I laid down for a little bit, got up, grabbed myself something to drink, sat down at my desk, and there's like six or seven ants running around on my desk, and the desk is clean. There's like no food or anything on it. It's really weird. Well, I guess they're trying to come, starting to come in and bed down for the winter as well. All right, so what do we have left over here? We have another... Oh, we have another two million we can sell off. And we have another, looks like one million grass being converted. All right, so we have more money if we need it. Ooh, I didn't want to look at that one. So what do we have? We have 2.6. All right, we can. So field seven, I think, is empty. Let's just take a quick peek at. Oh, they're both empty, five and seven. So do we want to look at three? What does three have in it? Three has oats, which I don't need. Mm. All right, so let's look at, so seven. Oh, we can only afford one field. Can't even, can't afford five. We could do three. We can sell the oats. These two are empty. We can throw clover here. And then we can try and get enough money to buy seven. And plant potatoes. Alright, let's grab that. 
so three was looks like oh was that ready to harvest it is oat ready to harvest all right I can we can we can handle that let's go grab our harvester which is, should be sitting over here and how does it look repair looks good gas looks good all right let's run it down to um, our new field. the straw can go right in the uh, composter. Uh, how do I get in here? Hello? Why does this not look like an oat field? Alright, first of all, is this field 3? It is. Uh, probably do a headland on this side and then set a warper off. Go get a loading wagon. I wonder if we can put the oats in to make seeds with. Probably just sell the oats. Alright, where's our loading wagon? Hello. Okay, I've got a loading wagon. Now, where do I have a tractor? Back at the forest. <laughs> We're going to have to steal this guy. Go grab. I've got a tractor sitting. I must have another tractor sitting somewhere. I can't remember where it is. Let's drop this guy there. Uh, do I have room in this shed to park this guy? Uh -oh. Not in that one. Get out of here. We can grab this tractor if we need it back. Now we definitely won't get this field done with this episode.
There we go. Sheesh. I'm going to try and get a headland done on this side. But I was sitting in a weird position. Oh, there we go. Now, are we dropping? Oh, we got to enable straw swap. All right. Yeah, this will be a nice clover field. Alright, I'm gonna set off a worker. Alright, let's jump out of there, perfect. Alright. So now that we have this going, um, does either the seed the oh, wrong one. Does either the seed maker or the refinery take oats. Alright, so the refinery takes corn, no, corn, barley, sugar, beet, sugar cane. Alright, so that's not going to take it. Uh, feed and seed. Uh, seed production. Nope, just wheat or barley. Yeah, we'll, we'll sell the oats off. All right, next order of business. Oh, come on. Jump, there we go. Ooh, didn't think I was gonna make it. My fat butt couldn't get over the hedge. All right, the couple fields that we do own. One, I know the vines, the two vineyards we don't have to mess with, but does anything need fertilize? Both one and two need a layer of fertilizer. What? Ooh, are they in the next growth stage? Let's take a peek over here for a minute. They are both in the first growth stage. I'm going to leave this guy here because we're going to take him straight down to field three. But now we're going to need our fertilizer. Now, which one is which? I'm going to pick the wrong one. Oh, I did. I got the right one. How did that happen? Both of our fields need fertilizer. Oh, we got to run water back to the ice house. So we'll get this guy running on a worker. And then we'll go run some water back to the ice house so we can get ice cubes being made. I believe this is one of our fields. It is. Right, we'll, get, we'll give you a headland across the front. Oh, come on. I said, told you to open it like five seconds ago. Yeah, this Christmas I'm buying myself a new Xbox One control. That'll be my Christmas present to myself. Because it is definitely got a couple of bad buttons on it now. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. You do your thing. 
Uh, now we need our truck, so let's head back over this way. Uh, look at that. And you're on the wrong implement. And then we'll, since I'm back here, we're going to fill up the ice house. I'll start, I'll check on the um, stone processing and the wash plants. Slow down, slam on the brakes, I pass the road off. Now we have to drive through here to get back on the road. I was daydreaming for a minute. See now, I couldn't sleep before, so now I'm getting tired. Uh, yes, fill me up with water. Now, while you're filling, let's go back, control G. All right, stone processing. Uh, how you looking? Oh, you're going to need a load of diesel. And we just took the tanker all the way back to the house. All right, you're going to need diesel. Um, our wash plants. Oh, you are out of what? Out of diesel. <laughs> Alright, so we got to run diesel back to everything back here. Or nothing's going to be running. Alright, did our... Uh, make sure our... Um, Helper needing it himself wrapped around a tree. No, he's doing good. Oh, it looks like field three is going to need lime. No plow, though. Just going to need some lime. We'll run two loads of water back here just to get it started. Ooh, and it's, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm, now I'm really getting tired back around this way. I didn't need to cross the bridge. I'm just going to kick this guy off. So I hope we have enough. I think it's fifty thousand per. <coughs> uh, where's the uh, wash plants? Yeah, fifty thousand per wash plant. Yeah, so that's one hundred and fifty thousand liters. So I need. Uh, I don't. I hope we still have two hundred thousand liters. Uh, one check on the winery red wine we have some to sell white wine we have some to sell 
it's looking good. All right. This will can probably hold at least two more loads. Oh no, we're full. Perfect. So let's let's go drop this off and grab our truck with the diesel in it. My goodness, we're about 45 minutes in already. It's time flies when you're having fun. At least we won't have to do any logging next episode. Can't wait to get into fishing. We need the ice cubes, yeah. We have the earthworms going, so that's a plus. there old man with your parking oh we needed this guy do you have 200,000 liters just we're going to go through every bit of this Yeah, so I won't have to do anything between episodes. We'll just pick it right up where we're leaving off. Yeah, I, I almost went to the grocery store after work tonight. Before I came home. I was going to stop. I almost stopped on my way home from work. So I didn't have to leave the house this weekend. But I've been spoiled. So I go there on Friday mornings. Usually about 8 a.m. They open at 7. I usually get there about 8. And on my way out, there's a little like deli there. Well, like hot foods like a little um, almost like a little cafe right outside the uh, still like in the grocery store but like right outside the grocery store in the lobby and they have these to die it's an Amish grocery store so it's phenomenal for uh, deli and there's a butcher right there and a bakery, Amish, homemade Amish baked goods. So it's a phenomenal grocery store. And they have these killer sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits. Oh, I get one when I'm done with my grocery shopping. And I'm only a mile and a half from the grocery store. So it's I get it, I throw it in the bag, I get my groceries in the car run home, put my groceries away, and the breakfast sandwich is still hot. It's the best thing. That's my Friday morning treat. Uh, let's pick up 
what I know we just emptied this, but let's just top this off or grab what little it has and then we'll have before we head back to the house. Oh, left another eleven thousand liters, I'll take it. Hopefully that's everything that needs diesel. I know the composter burns through a lot of diesel. So the refinery, you definitely want to keep the refinery running. It looks like our fertilizer guy is done. So we can hop him over to the next field. We sell two loads of silage off. We may have enough money for another field. All right, so let's check on field two. Perfect. He's done. Of course, he's going to end up way back here. But I'm hoping we could sneak him through the woods and go right over to field one. Yeah, we should be able to fit through here. We don't own this piece of property between us, but I'm sure the farmer won't mind. I think this is our other field. Um, yes. Uh, stumble to a headland across this side. Actually, we're almost an hour in, so I'm just going to let this guy go till next episode. Uh, let's jump in our harvester. Oh, perfect. I can, imp I can stop him at the end of this field. And then I'm just going to let the straw drop. And then we'll get him lined up, and he'll be good to go this time. So I can finish a headland on this side, and we can set him off on a worker. So I'm going to leave it here. I am Old Man 102. Please smash that like and subscribe on your way out, and have an awesome day.